hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking in thank you for your likes overwhelming comments positive negative they are always welcomed apart from the insults who don't accept insults here <laughs> we don't insult in fact we don't intend to insult thank you so much my people for always coming back to check on me and making sure that this channel is running road to 10k thank you so much my authentic organic people for always making sure that we are on we are on my super slappers my returning subscribers new subscribers uh premier gang members keyboard reactors all of you my new subscribers my old subscribers all of you guys i love you to the moon and back and that is the reason why we are here to do what to react it's a reaction video guys see david jr was celebrating his birthday or her birthday whichever way in nairobi and he decided to confuse us <laughs> david jr is always confusing us see this now see this this is david jr confusing all of us here on the streets <laughs> he'll come out behaving differently and then he'll come out telling us oh this is the way it is when it's not really you know he's confusing us he is confusing himself and he's confusing all these girls that he's bringing on board someone was writing on his comment section the other day i forgot even to screenshot that comment and he was asking david jr you have to tell me where caster is if not i'm going to unsubscribe from your channel <laughs> keyboard reactors with their uh, with their threats hmm? i looked at that comment it had a lot of replies behind there and i was like what is happening here why are you people forcing david jr to be who he's not if he went to nairobi and caster is not into him this pretending is not going to stay for a long time definitely you know like if you keep on pretending and you want to keep these people in your game and they don't have that energy the way you have that energy of pretending and keeping on pretending and keeping you know it's really draining it's really draining especially on caster's side so caster decided like no no enough is enough i'm not going to take this anymore <laughs> caster decided to mm -mm, i'm not meeting you for this because every time we meet the comment section and everything it's not easy guys you see all those comment sections sometimes you people you usually tell me how are you really coping with this it's not easy uh, this comment section sometimes they drain people into depression some people take things very seriously some people don't and some people are strong enough to deal with the situation so people are different anyway caster decided that he's not coming close to david jr and so david jr decided to come out you know with this so that he can be covering his face and covering everyone else thinking that we don't know what we saw what we saw is what we saw anyway it's your opinion that counts my opinion counts and by the end of the day everyone is entitled to their own opinion <laughs> david jr can confuse yeah he he really he's really trying to play that game is it not the same same game that also dimwango is playing or was playing with the kino in jamaica oh i'm leaving jamaica why are you leaving jamaica i thought you said that you are going to be a jamaican like for real for real and forever what is it that she's now leaving jamaica what happened definitely guys you knew how the tingo went before this girl shon came there she did a very short video live video telling people that she is not with kino that video really spoke volumes for those who did not take it seriously i took it seriously i knew something was cooking but she had to just hold on because of the girlfriend sean who was coming in and after sean has left she's now leaving what really happened in between there guys <laughs> this overthinking will not kill you people this overthinking will not kill you that one i leave it there to rest i need to go <laughs> i need to go <laughs> i'm in a hurry i need to go <laughs> where am i going i'm rushing to nyabo hansi in nyabo hansi marwa's wall 
fell as we saw in yesterday's video definitely uh because of the heavy rains and the wind and the storm and the everything guys it's raining have you seen the videos in dubai by the way i saw the videos in dubai and oh my god what happened it's like the heavens have just opened their doors and it's raining like crazy some of you are telling me also in the comment section that there's too much rain in the U.S., there's too much rain in Dubai, there's too much rain in Nairobi, there's too much rain even here where I am. It's not easy. Hey! Anyway, guys, the rains fell. Hmm? My other brother said the rains are raining. The rains are raining big time and that's why this Amarwa's wall fell that wall had just passed close to the river and we had known by yesterday we had known that the river is coming to claim its own yes the river come claiming its own you're not supposed to build a big wall there just close to the waters i don't know why this engineer we were looking for the engineer yesterday <laughs> where is engineer you people told me that engineer is at uh someone's dude who is that guy he's there also doing his engineering uh, skills over there the engineer did whatever he did but today i saw my yugno at the construction site my yugno is my yugno ring <laughs> definitely we saw the other day my yugno was moving around crying oh marwa is leaving why was he crying anyway he was crying for views right yeah he was now Mayugno is busy at the site. He's gotten a new job to build that wall. Yeah? Because what will Marwa do without Mayugno? And Mayugno is Marwa's firstborn uh, son. Mayugno is building the wall. This is how they're doing it. America. <laughs> In this video, Mayugno is singing, <laughs> and this is what he's saying. He's saying that he doesn't have any problems. All he needs is a Mzungu woman so that he can have a kid with her, and then straight away he will get the visa to go abroad. <laughs> that is the content in that song that he was singing over there as he was constructing those gabions near the river so that now they can pull the the wall <laughs> my goodness now something else you see these are the same things that i used to tell you about guys this is the master class the youtube master class for nyabohanse boys the master class is work so hard to get a mzungu woman it's so simple get a kid with her and the visa is ready for you you will go abroad now the question here is what is in abroad they can see it clearly some of these ladies that have been coming from abroad to their village that should even mean to them that people are even admiring their village you know because of how people are living abroad everything is paying bills for everything you know they don't appreciate their own village. You see Maro was saying the other day that he is living off grid. It's very possible. Simple life and everything. <laughs> Mayugno wants to go abroad. <laughs> he 
he wants to go abroad he doesn't know what is awaiting for him and that is what he was singing now moving on to the walls that they were constructing i noticed that they they are putting up uh those gabions definitely to to divert the river from flowing and carrying all this soil from the walls because that is what the river is doing the rivers are flowing and catching up because of the soil erosion in that place it's catching up and moving with all the soil that is holding on the walls so what are they doing now they are building those gabions over that place only in that place and yet as you can see from their videos the walls is surrounding all that river as it goes down so why should they put only gabions in, in one place if they are putting gabions then they should just put it on all that stream the whole wall that is near the stream the whole of it because this time they will avoid this water from coming in the waters will again look for another place to pass through and it's just next to the wall and it will go like so until when that is my question until when they will keep on repairing and repairing and repairing and repairing and who is constructing the walls you've seen all those boys there so we have an expert down there to be doing all these things or it's just my yugno <laughs> we will sit here the whole day whole day whole night talking about the walls and the gabions and the walls they will keep on crumbling and falling down uh, every time it rains every time it rains the walls keep on falling the walls keep on falling the walls keep on falling until when <laughs> marwa will have to look for someone specialist to advise him on how to do this fencing thing moving on with marwa's stories Marwa has real stories. <laughs> Since he's in Nairobi, he's actually sending more stories on these Kenyan tabloids. Uh he was on Nairobi gossip sending a lot of information over there. Actually they're the ones who uh were the first ones to tell us about the robbery that happened with the Rocio even before Rocio brought the first video. So definitely he's the one who's sending them all this for publicity the same thing that also um dimango used to do when she got to nairobi you know she used to send them stuff and kenyans were really coming for them and honestly i don't understand why kenyans are not into him or into them let me put it that way i don't understand kenyans they know themselves me i don't know so he sent them this uh picture uh trying to you know they're looking for that thief and marwa is trying to send it out so that he can get some help that's how i feel but people see it differently listen this is the picture that marwa sent to pulse this is called pulse live kenya pulse live kenya they wrote it here youtuber marwa gets clear photos that captured face of border border rider who robbed his girlfriend when i saw this i said let me check on what kenyans are saying about this i've heard people saying oh you are a kenyan why are you talking about your fellow kenyan le, 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 le. there's a way you do a, a presentation somewhere and kenyans will be like this is not our way mm -mm, this is not it and kenyans they are, they are very verbal by the way so they can't keep quiet about stuff going on when they like it they like it if they don't like it they will say it the way it is no pampering <laughs> no kona kona um this is some of the comments i want to read to you guys that kenyans left on that page that was posting marwa um listen to this this one asked who was recording it was just a question who was recording this other one said accept and move on kaimenda imenda if it has gone it has gone accept and move on you know maro is behaving as if he has never been 
<laughs> in Nairobi before. You know, in Nairobi, when something is gone, it's gone. Forget, go back home. It's so simple. It's so simple. It's not easy. This place is overcrowded, first of all. Secondly, sometimes these police, they know where this gang is. It's not like when someone is stealing from you, it's just one person. This person is covered by a very big gang. I don't want to go into the politics of the gangs in those places, but there are some documentaries, guys, if you go and check, there are some documentaries here on YouTube that they show how these gangs are being operated in Nairobi, especially in Nairobi. It's not just a place that you will send one police and he will go in, pick the phone and come back. He might be killed. It's not a joke. <laughs> guys, big Things happening in big cities, and it happens definitely in every city. This is not just Kenya alone. Now, this person said, because this is how Kenyans feel about uh, robberies when they happen in Nairobi, right? This one said, she is not the first to suffer such, and a lot of us out here suffer such fate. Each day, we report nowhere. Then she laughs. Next time, Ensure your pass is on the blind side of the road. You are not new in Nairobi. They are just trying to tell Marwa, next time, try to be careful. That is the solution to all these problems that you have. <laughs> next time, be careful. Simple. If it's gone, it's gone. The other one had said earlier. This one said, girlfriend... She looks like his mommy. Now, I don't want even to talk about that. People, you people sometimes you, you pull me to talk about stuff. Way that is called. Another one said. <laughs> and then this one said, you know, they say we African just take what, eh? just take what the wheat mean themselves won't ever look a day to be with them type of girls. It's a cold world, meaning we will forever take scraps. I don't know who a scrap is in this uh, context. Guys, I'm reading it. I'm not saying it. I'm reading it. This one is coming from Kenyans. Hey! This one said, white people age badly. Black don't crack. Who is cracking? Guys, I'm reading. Oh. This one said, white is still more beautiful because uh, good things don't last. Like my pink flowers that were here the other day. <laughs> they don't last. You know, a lot of comments down here. You okay? I, I don't want to talk about that. Let me talk about Marwa himself. I don't want to go into what marwa had or the girlfriend and how people are talking about the girlfriend because this thing is real okay marwa a man is supposed to walk on the right side of your girl the dangerous side you had her exposed boss you had her exposed yeah this one said work to reward and you will see him identified yeah he needs to put a reward like, if you find this person, I will give you 100,000 Kenyan shillings. <laughs> That's what Kenyans are asking for. Then you will see him identified. It's so simple, Marwa. It's so simple. You will wait for Marwa's money. My fellow Kenyans, you will wait. Hey, you will wait. This, all these comments that people were pulling out on Marwa. Another said that the picture that was shown there, it looks that it it looks like the YouTuber himself. That's what another said. That picture is just looking like the YouTuber himself. What's the meaning of that? Because some of you had said that, oh, maybe it's Maro who planned all this. Oh, maybe it's Marwa's <laughs> friends. Remember, he stayed in Nairobi. He stayed in Nairobi and he has some friends there. So we don't know if he really planned this or not because most people are saying this. Marwa doesn't want Rocio to go back home. So he's really, really trying what he can to make sure Rocio don't go home. Okay. This one said, but why let your woman walk on that side of the road as a protective man, a CA ni world traveler? 
Yeah? Is he not a world traveler? He's supposed to know. You know? Ama exposure in a kuanga tu ya kusema my African. <laughs> Ama your exposure is just to tell us how many African countries you've gone to. What kind of exposure is that? What are we learning from you as a worldwide traveler? That is what they are asking him. The questions are just so many, but I just wanted to share with you some of the reaction from the video that Marwa, actually the picture that Marwa had sent to Pulse Kenya to produce this information so that they can get some help but people have already told him one thing that i just got from them just put a reward out there and we will identify that man those are Nairobians for you you want that guy we will identify him for you just put the reward and you will see the miracle will happen so simple hey <laughs> others are just stories now guys let me go back again in yabo hansen now sejo said something today that really touched my heart and i know that this subject is going to touch many of you out here to understand how people deal with other people to understand how uh, people deal with their families it was so unfortunate the other day sejo came out uh, saying that uh, brundian traveler took his niece and the girl was an underage and a lot of stuff that uh, Burundian traveler uh, did some videos or pictures and he doesn't involve them in their Instagram posts and stuff. And they're wondering why, because they are feeling so entitled. They want to be in a Burundian traveler's life. Um, this is what happened when you are a foreigner or when you are new in an area or in a place. Sometimes people feel like, when they help you to do something, they are now entitled into your life. Now, if you don't do what they want you to do, because now they want to control you, they will come up with some information to, to spoil your name or spoil your identity, spoil your brand and all these things. Now, he came out to say that, oh, Burundian Traveler, you're moving with my sister's daughter and she's young, she's an underage and stuff. According to the videos that you guys you have seen here and also uh, some of the conversation and even the receipts that we got, I'm saying we because I was also part of the people who are looking for that truth actually. And I noticed that the girl that is being said is 21 years old according to Sergio also he mentioned that. And I'm like how is a 21 year old girl be an underage girl here in Kenya? All we know here is that 18 and above, you are an adult. You can make your own decisions. You just have to be guided, but you have to have that, you know, ability to make your own decisions in life. That's what I know. But now this girl is 21 years old and she has an ID. Because Sejo was lying that this girl doesn't have an ID. She has an ID. It's only that if I bring out the ID, I have a, a copy of it showing that this girl is not an underage i'm not sure if i can bring it out guys but at the same time i can just tell you how old is this girl i just want to tell you how old is this girl guys because you know sometimes you you, you just wonder why people lie a lot and then they came out saying oh sejo doesn't lie and then he lies. Sejo doesn't lie. And he lies more and more and more. This girl's ID says that she was born in 2003, 20th April. So you can calculate that for yourself. Her name is Tracy. I can't reveal those other names. She has three names. She comes from Korea West, Mabera. That's where she took her ID. And she took her ID in 2021. We are in 2024. This is a person that has been staying with her ID for how many years? Three and more years. Over three years she's been with this ID. And this is the girl that they are saying that the Burundian traveler took. And he's doing whatever he's doing with her. 
and stuff like this and say your never lies <laughs> so after all this exposure of how this girl is not an underage you should say the truth and blah 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 and i saw burundian traveler the way she was becoming so much uh, depressed over the lies that have been pulled on him and when he was talking with the minhawi or yeah they were talking and he was like i can even commit suicide and stuff like that he's becoming depressed of the you know he's in a place where people have taken over according to sejo says that when they were looking for a piece of land they're the ones who helped him for that piece of land so that he can buy it on a cheaper price so because of that they are now in control they want to control him very well it doesn't matter whether he's with the dk or not if he wants to move with someone else those are his choices as an adult as well but the problem is that these people he is in their area he is in their village and he wants to be with them and so they want to control him if he does something and they don't like it they want to come out and expose him and even you know use his name whichever way they want and for what for views now when people came on this issue guys sejo has come out with another video sejo has come up out with another video saying we made peace with burundian traveler but this is where my whole video is starting from we haven't even said anything we want to square this one guys we made peace with burundian traveler but but in this video sejo has said a lot of things first of all let's listen to this before we say anything uh, my niece actually will come out of my home and go and stay with her mother that's the thing which i've decided to go at least they, they lie to each other that's the thing you know me i don't lie me i do things how it's supposed to be done i'm going to she, she's going to join her mother to stay with her mother because we have been the uncles who have been protecting her yeah and paying the school fee going from offices to offices to get the government scholarship for for her education but now we are going to cancel that because now uh, let bt concentrate with her yeah that's the thing which i'll say and ungratefulness is something which is not good and let, take care people may lie to you people may say something to you people yeah and it's william i've left the kid to the world now i've left the kid to the world you saw that uh, she can't be she can't be under the family under the family who actually in case of anything the family can guard and the other idiots who actually insulted me yeah yeah we've left the kid to the me and pablo we've left the kid to the world now i want her to know what world means with the mother to know what world means yeah me protective let me protective that is an uncle to someone saying all these things on his camera and pulling out publicly to the people that he doesn't even know pulling family stories out there for those people who have left their kids with family members come here come gather here come gather here come gather here in this tent hey come in my tent this one it's really hurting this one is really hurting you are talking about your niece for views for youtube money you are busy with your camera talking like that about your sister's daughter for those people who have suffered in the hands of their so-called uncles and aunties and family members this is it this is it this is it you had even the tone that this guy is using on his own knees you know at some point before i used to think that oh maybe your uncle or your auntie is just like your mom or is oh lord what happened to the world what this really hurt me deep down we've all gone through these things for those who have gone through these things kindly let me know in the comment section how was your experience 
growing up in the hands of relatives. No, like this one is serious. We need to talk about this. We need to talk about this. And in this video that Sejo did, Sejo turned off comments because he knows very well that what he's doing or what he's saying in his video is unacceptable to everyone who is going to listen to him. So he decided to turn off the comments. It's unfortunate. But can you tell me if you can do that to your sister's daughter? Let me know because I need to know. I need to know. Is this the kind of thing when you disagree or have an issue with a teenager? Remember, this girl is a teenager. Yeah? It's, no, she's not a teenager. She's an adult. She's past teenage now. She is an adult. She can make her own decisions. And she can go back to school even if she has a relationship. What is wrong with this girl who is over 21 years, heading to 22, actually? What is the problem for her having a relationship with whoever? It doesn't have to be even the BT guy. Whoever, what is the problem? Oh, we are going to cancel that. Oh, because she has to go to her mother because their mother. And now he's also talking bad, bad-mouthing his own sister. And why was this girl with Sejo at Sejo's place? Definitely it's because the mother has not been around. Remember the video that they did with African, is it Jamaican? Yes, the Jamaican uncle. What did he say? Where is his sister? Is this the same sister that brought this girl to them? And now what is he saying about the sister? And what did he say about the sister, same sister, at Jamaican uncle's video? I leave that to you. Let me leave that to you. But you see, this has triggered a lot of emotions. A lot, a lot, a lot when he said these things. I said, wow. So all this disagreement in your family, you are bringing it out publicly on the video and monetizing it and getting money out of it by bad mouthing. You know, when someone has, has said something like that, it will stay for a very long time, especially when the video is still there, remaining there publicly and people are still watching it. What will happen between him and this girl? You know, in this family circle, especially here in Africa, it's very different. You will do something like this for this girl and you also have your own daughter is still coming up. You don't know what to expect from your own. <laughs> your, own your own can even be worse than even this your niece. You never know. And by the end of the day, you'll find that this niece of yours, she will really make it in life. And it will reach a time in life you will need her. Or your daughter will need her. People don't see things. People don't see. The only thing he sees is to bring his anger on YouTube as if YouTube is going to give him a trophy or something. Just because he has decided, this is God. now how I'm going to punish this girl because this girl has done this and even their mother. and then, 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 then. Family issues bringing it out here on YouTube just because. And now what is even interesting is that he says that, I have made peace with Burundian traveler, but so you have to make peace with this foreigner guy and throw your sister's daughter out of the home. And you feel now that is content that you're bringing it out here on these streets. Now you are telling people real points that are going to inspire them on these streets. <laughs> I did not understand this man. You see, all these things that we usually come out here and say from our mouth, these are the real things that define us at the end of the day. These are the same things that define us. All these people that we are talking to, we don't know them. My audience, guys, I don't know you. So you, the way you will judge me is because of how I present myself here. The things I say all the time, all the things that I show, that is me. So you judge me from that. And you cannot even pretend for a whole year. Your true colors will definitely come out. 
if you are an insulting person, you will always be insulting. And though there are people who love insulting videos, you understand? For me, I decided I'll rather remain with my organic, small audience that we don't do insults here. We don't keep calling people names. You know, this name calling. If I'm talking about Marwa, guys, I'm talking about Marwa. Marwa has said this. Marwa has done this. If it's Dimwango, Dimwango has said this. David Jr. has said, I don't have time to start name calling people. I feel like it's not respect. As much as we are talking about them, we also need to respect them as people. As much as we are reacting uh, about their videos, it doesn't mean that we need to hate them to an extent of such calling them some names, even calling them some animals' names and stuff like that. That means you have hate. You are now personalizing it and hating this person. You can't even call his name or her name. You end up calling <laughs> them something else that is not even a human being. Why would you call a human being another name or an animal or a wild animal's name? That is hate. So, well, you know, like, guys, let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. Kindly forgive me for this. We are earning money from these videos, right? So what makes you feel good when you are earning money out of insults, out of calling people names, insulting them, you know? And, you know, it's not about pulling them down. Or See, reaction is not about the hate and pulling them down and everything. Let's talk the way things are. You like it authentic, let's roll with it authentically. It's so simple. And for me, that's why me, I appreciate you, my people, for always being here with me because of who I am and what I do. And also not giving insults the way they do. Because in the comment section, sometimes people come with insults. And I've always told you, don't worry about that. I will clean my own house. Someone comes with my insults and I just pull him away or pull her away. And that is it. You know, this is the way things should be done. And from that you can understand this person is like this from the way you present yourself, from the way you say your things, from the way you show what you show. This is the real you. And thank you so much, my people, for always liking me for who I am. In short, what am I trying to say? Or in long, what am I trying to say? I'm saying this is Sejo and his anger. The way he's coming out, even, even talking about his own family. They think that we don't have family members who do such things. We do. But why will you pull and start exposing your own family, your own knees, a young girl that needs uh, advice? And now you're saying that I've made peace with this foreigner, but I cannot make peace with this girl. I need to throw her out of the house. Now I will leave her to the world. What kind of a person are you? And you have a daughter. How responsible are you? How responsible are you sure that you'll also, you know, do the same thing to your own daughter when things become worse? Because now, from this generation, the coming generation is also going to be worse. Every generation is stronger than the other generation. <laughs> that is what I know. Every generation is coming with their own, with their own. Like the kids we have now, they, they're not doing things the way we used to do. And we have to learn on how to teach them how to do these things. We need to show them love and, you know, but people are just different. And also they're using that excuse of her mom not being around and now he's coming. Guys, I don't know what you think about this. Like, honestly, let me know what you think about this. This whole video that Sejo did. Let's listen to this first before I say my own. But... This is the last warning I'm giving. I know YouTuber, you'll see my video. I'm saying, if you are an unmarried YouTuber, here is a no goes on. And I'll finish. When you'll come here and you'll know Sejo, who's Sejo? Well, you'll know who's Sejo. Any unmarried YouTuber not welcomed to our home. Any unmarried YouTuber not welcomed in our home. I thought you said that you're going to throw that girl out of your home. <laughs> so why is he threatening again some unmarried YouTubers? For what? 
or maybe they have more girls in that home if they have more girls in that home they should leave those girls alone to make their own decisions on who you never know maybe their star is going to shine through those boys that they are running with you never know <laughs> I don't know. Guys, I don't know what to think about this whole video. Can you let me know? Let's analyze together, criticize together, agree and disagree on all these things that we've just talked about. And also subscribe to this channel, AM Carol Road to 10K, anytime soon. Thank you so much for your love. Subscribe to this channel and hit on this notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified. Have you checked my store? kindly do check my store and pick anything that you love just to support this channel am carol and i say thank you in advance let's meet on the next one